वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम तन्मय एंड वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री एंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अ इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज मार्कोवनिकोव स्क्वायर दिस थिंग बिलोंग्स टू द बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ एल्की एंड एक्चुअली दिस रूल मेनली डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द एडिशन रिएक्शन ऑफ एल्की ओके सो ड्यूरिंग दिस लेक्चर व्हाट वी विल एनकाउंटर टुडे अबाउट द बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन सेकंड मैकेनिज्म third intermediate as well as transitional state which will provide us the basic understanding and after that we will explain this factor based on hamont's postulates and we will explain also the reactivity of different hydrohalides and compare their activity and finally with few examples to complete the understanding okay so a lot to know let's start so in this reaction you can see this is an alkene This is an alkene. When it reacts with hydrohalide, it produces this. If we check this alkene, is electron rich. This alkene is electron rich, but not that much polar. Okay, but this is polar because this is delta plus and this is delta minus. And ultimately, addition it produces this. This reaction was developed by a Russian chemist. Means this post this rule. Markovnikov. His or name is Vladimir Markovnikov. It's a Russian chemist. So this reaction is nothing but unsymmetrical addition to alkene. When I am saying al unsymmetrical addition, then definitely question will come. What is the symmetrical addition? For example, if you take this double bond and react with hydrogen, what will be the product? The product will be. it's a simple hydrogenation reaction this is a hydrogenation reaction if you want to learn about hydrogenation of alkene please uh, tell me in the comment box then i will make videos in future and this happens in presence of noble metal catalysts like palladium platinum etc okay so this is a symmetrical and this is unsymmetrical okay so how the reaction happens so in order to have that understanding before that we need to understand the basicity of alkene versus what why because what type of hx solution we will use means generally we know this hydroacid comes as a aqueous solution for example aqueous hcl aqueous hbr aqueous hi so that is generally obtained so what we use that will be mainly dependent on the reactivity of alkene okay what does it mean it means that we are reacting alkene means competition between alkene versus this alkene actually reacts with homo and how this homo looks like this this is and this is so this is the homo of alkene keep it in mind okay this is plus this is minus i have in several videos i have explained about this molecular orbital concept this is so actually proton is expected to react with this proton means a positive charge no electron so it will react with this this is a symmetry sign plus and minus or instead of that you may represent this thing in this way also okay so it will react with proton now if we compare this versus this proton it is a hard as this is hard acid but alkene this is a soft acid soft acid so hard soft inter means hard and soft versus water is hard sorry this is hard soft base it should not be acid alkene will act as a base soft base similarly water is hard base we know according to the hard soft acid base principle hsab this hard prefers hard soft prefers soft consequently if you provide the aqueous solution then it is expected that this water proton will react with water not alkene so in order to handle this problem aqueous solution is avoided for this reaction okay keep it no so we have learned about this now second is we will discuss little bit about the 
basic concept. Actually, this reaction proceeds to the intermediate formation of carbocation. Why? Because this HF easily dissociate to produce H plus and X plus X minus. We know the acid means how? What does it mean by acid? Acid means a molecule which can produce H plus very easily. Fine. So this H plus will react. And what will be the product? Since I haven't given anything, means so any place this protonation can occur. So as I told first, there will be protonation in this way. After that, what it will result? If this H will form bond with any of this, this or this carbon. So let's take this. So if it is, then plus charge will come here. Why? Because see, this is a proton, positive charge attached to a neutral molecule. So overall charge of the material will be positive. Second, there was a double bond and it broken, it produces one single bond. So this carbon is octet, but this is sextet. So it's a carbocation. Okay? And this carbocation, what do I mean? This means this moiety, this have a P or white. Vacant. Okay, vacant P. So let's consider it's a PJ, it's a vacant. So what can happen? That that new next step, the nucleophile means X minus can attack. And both sides equal probability, so don't expect that it will be a stereocenter because if this is different, for example, it is for example this is R1 and this is R2, then you can expect asymmetric center. But there will be the it will be ultimately a racemic mixture. This X, this is H. It will be racemic. Why? Because this P orbital equal attack probability from both sides, this or this. So if it is equal probability, then two isomers will produce in equal amount. That means one is to one, that is a racemic mixture. So this much we have understood. Now, during this discussion, we have understood the important point. What important point? That the reaction is dependent on the production of carbocation. Okay, that is. So, pre preparation of carbocation is the rate determining step or you can say RDS please keep this factor in mind because I am going to say about the rules but compared to the rules this statement is more important okay so first keep this statement in mind it will be helpful because preparation of carbocation is the rate determining step. So, means preparation of carbocation is the most important step for the overall reaction. Fine. Now, how this carbocation is produced? This carbocation is produced from this HS, means HI, HBr and HCl. And if we see that the reactivity increases in this side, this side, means HI is most reactive, then HBr and among this series, less is HCl. Why? Because of bond strength. Bond strength. Bond strength of HX. What do I mean? Because if you see this H HCl, this is a this HCl means this is one S and this is it's a three third block element. If you see Br, it's a fourth. If you see I, it's a fifth. So poor overlap. Poor overlap is the reason for their bond strength. Means this is weakest. H is the weakest bond, so it dissociates easily and produces H plus and X Cl I minus if we consider H. So if it is produced H plus and I H plus and I minus produces easily means H plus is produces easily. So that means the reactivity will be higher as the production of H, this H plus means reaction of H plus and I means the R is Okay. So this is the thing. And actually this stability of carbocation 
is responsible for the process. Please keep this statement in mind also. That stability of carbocation is the most important factor most important factor in this process okay so based on this thing the rule which is proposed based on this the rule which is proposed I will write here the negative part of the addendum will attach to the carbon which is poorer than hydrogen okay let's write it negative part of the addendum will attach to that carbon which is poorer in hydrogen. This is a rule, just keep it in mind, memorize whatever. It will help you to predict what will be the product. But what is the basis of this rule? Stability of carbocation. So the basis of this rule is the stability of carbocation. Okay. Okay. So we, we, based on my suggestion, is that it is not essential to remember this rule. Remember one thing: the stability of carbocation. And based on that, you think because when there is a rule, there is an exception of two, and if you memorize this rule, then you have to memorize the exceptions also. Instead of that, if you focus on the fundamentals, means the basic concept, which is the stability of carbocation, then it will be good. And in this context, I want to mention that I have made two videos regarding the stability of carbocation. I will provide the link in the description. Please go through it. It will be helpful. In my principle, this is better. Now, okay, we have done. So, this thing we have explained. Now, the example which I have written, let's write it here. So, as that example I have written, that is propene. So, it is not a symmetrical one. This is a symmetrical one. But this, pro, this is what I am writing, this is unsymmetrical. So the interesting part is started. Probing, if you react this with, for example, H, what will be the product? We can expect, according to this rule, what this rule says, negative part of the addendum will attach to that carbon which is poor in hydrogen, which low carbon, lesser carbon is, where is the lesser carbon? Lesser carbon is in this, means this poorer number of hydrogen is this center minimum number of hydrogen. So, if it is, then expected I will attach here. So, the product is CH3, this CH3. So, as they have told about the addition of anion, so cation means proton will be the adjacent carbon. So, this is. But another possibility is there, that reverse means instead of that, it can produce CH3 is CH2 CH2 ion. This is a primary alkyl halide and this is a secondary. So what I have told that don't need to memorize anything, only keep one factor in mind. The stability of carbocation is the R D step and that will go. So what type of carbocation pore formation possible? Let's draw. So this is the final product. Instead of that, let's go to little more in detail. So now H plus. Okay, and in this case I minus will be. So what H plus will prepare? 
so this H plus can prepare this carbocation or it can prepare this carbocation both this is a secondary carbocation and this is a primary carbocation we know that carbocation is stabilized to hyperconjugation here you can see 3 plus 3 is 6 hyperconjugation possible but here only 2 hyperconjugation possible that's why this is more stable so if I say this is more stable means the corresponding energy of activation will be less that is the thing and in this way this is the exclusive product this is the exclusive means 100% you can say and this is not produced ok and that thing would be explained based on Hamon postulates and transition state and keep it in mind intermediate is a carbocation so transition state is expected to be carbocation in nature ok so we will explain this thing now ok let's discuss about Hamon postulate ok Hamon's postulate. What does it helps it? Scientist Hamon is a physical chemist who described these postulates to explain this based on a transition state and reaction coordinate. It's an energy dependent explanation. Okay. So our starting material. This is the starting. This is the starting material in presence of H plus. It produces a carbocation, and since that is the RDS, so reaction will be rate will be dependent on that. So here two options possible: one addition of H plus at this center of that. So we have drawn. Means when H plus is added to this center, this is the primary carbocation, and when here this is the secondary carbocation. And we know that this secondary carbocation is more stable due to hyperconjugation. As I told here, 6 hyperconjugation is possible, and here only 2 hyperconjugation is possible. So, more stable. So, that you can reflect the energy. This is higher. Means if you draw a dotted line, you can see it goes here. So, this is the energy difference between the two intermediate. Fine. This is relatively stable due to hyperconjugation. Now, as you can see, the transition state energetically closer transition state energetically closer energetically closer to intermediate what do I mean? carbocation so transition carbocation so the transition state will resemble to the carbocation so if I draw that what will be the thing previous in C this is the reactant what bond is broken we will focus only that so this is CH3 1 this this these are not broken now what bond is broken this double bond and here primary carbocation is formed so protonation happened at this situation plus charge is here means delta plus here delta plus here delta plus here so this is the this is the transition state here for this case what is the transition state for this case the transition state looks like this is the CH3 so this and proton is attached to this carbon so let's draw this this is the attached proton so this is delta plus, this is delta plus, this is delta plus, overall charge is plus. Okay, and this is the transition state. So overall charge is plus. So this thing, based on this transition state, we can say that here transition state is also more stable. Because transition state is carbocation in nature, and that carbocation is stabilized by hyperconjugation. So similarly, transition state is stabilized by hyperconjugation. That's why you can see there is an energy gap. This is versus this. So this much amount of energy is. So from energy of activation, Arrhenius theory, what we say that in order to have this, we need this much amount of energy at activation, for example, E 1 degree primary and E 2 degree is this 
और रेडियस बढ़ रहा है डेल्टा ई टू डिग्री सो दैट मीन्स डेल्टा ई टू डिग्री इज लेसर देन डेल्टा ई वन डिग्री सो रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्राइमरी कार्बोकाटाइन इज हाइयर सो वट डज इट मीन इंप्लाइज द रेट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेकेंडरी कार्बोकाटाइन सेकेंडरी सी प्लस इज हाइयर एंड वेन रेट इज मोर रिएक्शन विल प्रोसीड ऑन दैट थिंग ओके Now you may think that okay, let's accept that rate is first higher, so reaction will follow this path. But should it produce some amount of this? Actually, no, because formation of carbocation is reversible. Okay, formation of formation of carbocation reversible. So if it is reversed, the same amount of carbocation may be formed, but that will come back because if you see the corresponding, if it come back here, huge amount of energy released and it will go there. So in this way, in an equilibrium, if a particular stable product is formed, the whole equilibrium will go towards that direction. So this is the explanation based on Hamel postulate, which explains the Markovnikov rule and supports this Markovnikov rule. Okay. Okay. So now let's discuss few examples. Okay. Let's discuss three example. I guess it will help you to clear your idea. So now you can see this is a two two dimethyl. This one, this is two dimethyl. You can say pro means two methyl propene. Okay. So two methyl. If you react with HI, it exclusively produces the CH three. How? to the intermediate formation of this tertiary butyl carbonate okay h plus is added here means if i write it properly this is h plus addition and after that iodide addition reduces produces this it's an exclusive so this thing you know in the previous example so no need to discuss in details fine but the second problem is little difficult Okay, what do I mean? See, they have asked that for HI addition. This is with HI, and this is with HI. What will be the product? Okay, so this is a two butene, and this is one butene. Now you may think that okay, this is electron rich because of two methyl group plus I effect. This will be more reactive. And it will produce carbocation. Never make anything conclusive or anything as a taken for granted that it will happen. Always try to go in details and understand the explanation, and that is the best way to be precise or find out the right answer in chemistry. So let's see. first is as I told, carbocation formation means reaction with H plus. So let's react with H plus. Do go step by step. It will be difficult. So as we know, according to Markovnikov rule, this carbon negative part will come here fine. But I am not going to that. But I have told I will follow that thing that you have to produce the most stable carbon atom. So here most stable carbon atom is here. As in the previous example, I have explained. So let's prepare the carbon atom. So this is CH and this is CH3. This is the carbon. This is most stable. And this is a secondary carbon. Okay. And here number of hyper conjugation five high. Okay, five hyper conjugation possible. Here, if it produces, it will produce CH three. Now see, it's a symmetrical. So protonation happened. These or this ultimately result in a same product. So let's draw a particular one. So this is CH two. This is CH three. See here, this is also a secondary carbon cation. And number of hyper conjugation is five. So this point of view, it says that both are same. So we cannot conclude based on this. Then we have to encounter another factor. What that another factor? See, this is this is relatively less stable. Don't say the word unstable. Say less stable. 
Okay, there is a difference between unstable and stable. This is less stable. So let's draw. Let's let's I'll draw it and different is different. And let's draw this. So if we draw a uh, energy axis, this is based on the Hamon postulate. So see, this is the utilization of Hamon postulate. So ultimate intermediate is almost same, closer. But reactant there is a difference. Why? Because see, this is relatively less stable. So this is one beauty. This is more stable. This is two beauty. Now fine. This is one beauty. This is two beauty. Okay. Now see the energy of activation. This is. So, means transition state will almost be similar here because similar stability. So, this is. So, now see this E delta E 2B, 2B is higher than this delta E 1B means butane. Fine. So, this means energy of activation is lesser for this. So as energy of activation is lesser, rate of reaction faster, rate faster. Consequently, what will happen? This will react faster. Okay. So the question, this versus this we compare, this will react faster compared to this. So please keep this factor in mind. Uh, it is essential, I believe. Now, let's come to the third example. I have wiped out. So let's write it again. So it was... CF3 this find two hydrogen see okay let's discuss now you can see this is a CF3 part uh, so for HI addition so what is expected so the expected thing is so first is H plus addition and that will determine when there will be I minus addition so here you can expect H plus addition two places possible since it's an unsymmetrical. So this carbocation is here and another case carb CF3 carbocation is here. Okay. So if we compare this versus this, this carbocation, although it's a secondary, this is a secondary, this is a primary, but this is less stable. Less stable because of minus I of CF3 group. As fluorine is very high electronegative, that's why this minus I is dominant. That's why this is relatively less stable. So more in energy. As I told in this uh, Hammond postulates that its energy of activation, it, it will be higher in energy. So corresponding energy of activation for the formation of this one it will be higher. Consequently, this is more less stable. This is relatively more stable. So although it is a primary one, but it will produce the, it will be produced as a major product. Fine, understood. Now let's consider this case. So, if we consider this case here, two types of carbocation formation possible OCH3. This is a secondary one, actually, not secondary, these are primary, and another also this carbocation is here. Okay, now there is a question. OME, you should know what effect OME could insert. It could insert plus R effect and minus I effect. Fine. Plus R is adjacent situation, minus I is little different. So, at this position, both plus R and minus I operates. But this position, only minus I operates. There is a cation and on this cation minus I effect is executed. So it is less stable. Although both are primary but it is less stable compared to this. Because this is resonance stabilized. How? Because it has an another canonical form. Means this lone pair will give here the CH3 O this plus charge is here. And this is called oxonium cation. Oxonium cation. Okay? So this is stable. 
so that's why reaction will proceed through this and what will be the product the product will be ch3 o this i, I will be added here understood so this is the overall discussion of markovnikov rule so what we have learned today we have learned today about the basic concept of markovnikov rule how this reaction is happening that is the mechanism transition state and the reactivity of hcl hbr hi based on their bond polarity finally we have discussed about hamon postulates which which describes the stability of that carbocation and explains the rate of formation of that carbocation okay and finally we have discussed few examples for the complete clarity of the concept so this is the end of the video if uh, so i guess it will be helpful in next video i'll explain about antony or anti markonic of schulz and effect of perox fine so this is the end of discussion if you like my teaching please subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload and most importantly share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort and finally all the best stay happy see you in my next video